Hello friends, how are you? My name is Corbin Reed and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm bringing you my fall office decorate with me. This is a space that I work in, I work out in, I get creatively inspired for all kinds of different things in this space so it's a very important space to me and I do like to decorate for the seasons in this space because I spend a lot of my time during the day down here. I completed a furniture flip. Uh, if you didn't catch that, go back and watch it. It's a part of my fall DIYs. I did complete this furniture flip where I found a Facebook Marketplace piece uh, for about 40 bucks and flipped it into this beautiful European inspired pine hutch. So that is now in here with some brass accents for hardware. Um, and I hung a new light fixture and I just decorated with fall foliage and blankets and textiles and things like that. It's pretty simple. I also did a DIY pin board. So you'll see all of those pieces come together. It's a short but sweet video, but I hope you enjoy it. I hope that it gives you inspiration and it gets you in the mood for fall. This is definitely part one of a three part series. Next week, I'll be doing hallways, bedroom, Anyway, so stay tuned and if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just putting a nail on the wall and because the DIY pin board was made out of a thrifted picture frame, I am going ahead and just hanging it the way that I would any other painting with the existing wire. Now in this corner I did have two, a painting and a screen silk um, piece that I got off of Etsy from this really awesome artist which I will link down below to his shop, but it was just feeling a little bit too cluttered and I wanted to simplify it. So I did remove this vintage painting that I got from the Rose Bowl Flea Market and just moved up this silk screen, um, silk screen printed piece with the um, reclaimed wood frame which I think is so beautiful it really matches the space and it just simplifies this corner even more just it's more clear what the aesthetic is over here now and it just doesn't feel so cluttered and then in this corner I have this marble vintage pedestal that I got from an estate sale decided to put this teakwood vase that I got from a store that closed in, in San Capistrano called RJ Imports but I will link similar ones down below and then if you saw my fall home decor haul you would have seen these fabulous maple leaf Japanese maple leaf stems that are perfect for autumn they're like 36 inches long and I just love the silhouette and they bend really nicely and I love the colors for fall. I'm really into these burgundies and these reds this year. Um, so I will also link those down below. They come in a pack of four for around $20, which is a great deal. This is my desk here. I have a round pedestal table that I got from CB2 that is marble and this white boucle chair and this black wool blanket sort of hung over the back for when I get chilly. I'll leave all of these things linked down below in case you are shopping for office furniture. But this is the DIY pin board that I completed. Again, if you did not see my fall DIYs, that's the video before this one. Go back and check it out. But I'm just seeing photos that I find inspirational and like a to-do list on there. Um, that was what I made it for and that's what it's intended for and I just love the visual effect of the photos against the linen and the vintage gold frame that I thrifted. So now for some shelf styling. This is everything I'm working with. A lot of books, some vintage vases, and some really awesome decor. When I'm styling a shelf, I like to start with the books. I'll lay some flat. I'll lay some sort of slung against, the, um, leaning against the side of the shelf. Um, but I really do just play to find balance in terms of how many I stack or where I stack them. It really is just like a visual symmetry thing. 
So there's no right or wrong way to do this, but I would suggest starting with books when you do shelf styling. And these are mostly interior design books, some of my favorites. I will be sure to leave them linked down below the ones that I'm using. I also have some vintage books in here. Next up, I'm using this vintage, I believe it's called the Chinese Bean Pot. Um, and I have a couple different shapes, but this is also some Studio potter Pottery. And I am, they are both in this beautiful chocolate brown. One is more matte and one is more glazed, but I love the irregular shape of that littler one. And then these are just two vintage brass trinket boxes that I found at flea markets um if i can find some similar ones on the internet usually on etsy i'll link, leave them linked down below but i love the juxtaposition against the like white oak looking wood also the hardware is brass so it's a nice callback to the materials and then these are some african vintage cowbells that i got from the rose bowl flea market I have seen these on on the web so I will be sure to link some similar ones down below and then I have a um, magnifying glass on these shelves as well which is a target find from the Studio McGee collection and this really pretty candelabra that is vintage And this is um, called the Deadly Nightshade Candle. That's a part of Target's Dollar Spot collection for Halloween. So it was only $3 and I love the label. And then that magnifying glass was from, again, from the Studio McGee collection from, I think, last year. And then on top, I am putting this rattan basket, which was, again, another vintage. Actually, this was a thrifted find from my local thrift store that was a few dollars. I had to fix the class, but it was totally well worth it. And I just store some excess fabric in there. And then that is a little bust that I got from Mickey & Co. during one of their Labor Day sales last year. Which is perfect for shelf styling because it's nice and small. Then to the left of the shelf, I have this beautiful shearling sheepskin chair and ottoman from maiden home which was definitely a splurge but it's a piece i'll have forever and then this blanket is a checkered um, beige blanket that i got off of amazon it is a hundred percent cotton which i love i love natural materials and it was super affordable it was around 35 dollars which to buy into this trend i've seen it span anywhere from you know up to like 400 dollars. so for 35 bucks it's a great deal and then I'm just putting another one of those dollar spot candles down with the beautiful label from Target and a candle snuffer that I did get off of Amber Interiors a while ago. I, If she still sells it, I'll link it down below. Otherwise, I will link similar candle snuffers with that nice curvature for you to shop. And it's like my dog knows when I'm filming, she just had to get in on the act, but also that's her favorite chair. So I just let her stay there. She blends in perfectly. Thank you so much for tuning in today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. I love hearing from you all. So if you could leave a comment down below about your favorite part or if there's anything in this video that you liked, um, I would love to hear from you. Also, if there's anything in this video that I used that is shoppable, I will leave it linked down below in the description box 
So please be sure to check there. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to follow me over at story design underscore with Corbin Reed. I give more minute to minute updates there uh, on DIY projects, things that I see that I'm inspired by on the internet or just in the world. So it's a fun place to follow me for all of that. Yeah, you guys, thanks so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.